Hello students, this is me Nilima Shakye. In today's class, we are going to find all the trigonometric ratios of the angle 180 degree minus theta. For this, let's take axis of coordinates and a circle is drawn with the center at origin O and a point PXY is taken on the circumference in the first quadrant. We have taken this point in such a way that we have OP, the radius R, and this angle POX is theta, acute angle. Angle POX equals to theta. Now let's draw PM perpendicular to X axis so that with the help of this coordinate PX comma Y, we can have the length of OM as X and length of PM as Y. Now let's write all the trigonometric ratios for the angle theta. That is sine theta equals to y by r. That is y coordinate of p by r. And cos theta is x by r, tan theta y by x. Similarly, the reciprocal of sine theta that is cosec theta equals to r by y. Sec theta, it is r by x. And the last ratio cot theta is x by y. Let's take one more point r on the circumference in the second quadrant so that we have this angle r o x dash is theta. And we have this o r is the radius. Here also, let's draw r t perpendicular to x axis. Now we have two triangles, o p m and o r t. In both of these right angle triangles, OPM and ORT, we have these two angles equal because both of them are right angle. And also these two angles, R, O, T and P, O, M, they are equal because both of them are equal to theta. And the side R, O equals to P, O because both of them are radius. So by AAS axiom, they are congruent. Triangle OPM is congruent to triangle ORT. Now let's equate the corresponding sides. Corresponding sides of OM is OT. So it is equals to X. And corresponding sides of PM is RT. It is equals to Y. Now we can write the coordinate of R. It is minus X comma Y. Measurement of OT is X, but it is in the negative part of X axis. So we have minus X and Y coordinate is Y. Here in this figure, we have X O X dash. It is a straight line and the complete angle is 180 degree. We have R O X dash is theta. So this portion angle X O R is 180 degree minus this theta. So we write it here, angle X O R equals to 180 degree minus theta. We are going to find the trigonometric ratios of this angle 180 degree minus theta. The first ratio, it is sine 180 degree minus theta. Its formula is Y coordinate of R by radius. We have to take the Y coordinate of R because this R lies on the terminating line of the angle 180 degree minus theta. Y coordinate of R is Y and the radius is R. So we have Y by R. Now when we check these ratios, Y by R is the ratio of sine theta. So replace this Y by R by sine theta. Second ratio, cos 180 degree minus theta. Its formula is X coordinate of R by radius. X coordinate of R is minus X and radius is R. Here we copy minus as it is. And X by R is the ratio of cos theta right over here. So we can replace this X by R by cos theta. So we get it as minus cos theta. The third ratio tan 180 degree minus theta. Its formula is Y coordinate of R by 
x coordinate of r, which is equals to y by minus x. y is the y coordinate and minus x is the x coordinate of r. Here also we copy minus as it is and y by x, it is the ratio of the tan theta. So we can replace y by x by tan theta. y by x is tan theta. So we get tan 180 degree minus theta is minus tan theta. Similarly, we get cosec 180 degree minus theta equals to cosec theta. Sec 180 degree minus theta equals to minus sec theta and cot 180 degree minus theta equals to minus cot theta. These are the trigonometric ratios of the angle 180 degree minus theta. This much for now students. In our next video, we will be finding trigonometric ratios of the angle minus theta. Thank you for watching this video.